I was able, though, to sit down and chat with some of the stars of Kung Fu Panda with the goal of helping them release their inner panda. Take a look at what Jack Black, Kate Hudson, and J.K. Simmons had to say. Thank you guys so much for being here. You star in the upcoming Kung Fu Panda 3. I co-star with a billion other great actors. Now I want to ask you some panda-related questions. That's obviously a large theme in the movie, a motif, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you will. Pandas spend an average of 10 to 16 hours a day eating and sleeping. Mm -hmm. If you could do anything for that many hours a day, what would it be? It would absolutely be sleeping. Sleeping, good. I would emulate the panda. I gotta be honest. Say it. Dance. Dancing, you'd be dancing. I'd be exhausted. But yeah. like, I'd rather dance than eat and sleep. 99% of their diet is bamboo. What would 99% of your diet be? Broccoli. JK. Uh, that's the first thing that came to mind. Pizza, just pizza. Chocolate chips and milk. Not just chips, cookies. Chocolate chip cookies and milk. Pandas have scent glands that they use to mark their territory. Ooh. What scent do you think best represents you? Orange blossom. Beautiful. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go cheeseburger. What would your scent be, JK? Poop. Fantastic. Perfect answer. And that actually is the correct answer. I have it here on the card. Thank you so much for your time. I feel you, JK. I feel you, JK. I smell like poop, too. I want to smell like cheeseburgers. Here's another panda fact. Pandas love dumplings. We all know that, but what about humans? How deep does our love for dumplings really go? I decided to find out by playing Dumplings or with J.K. Simmons, where I had him choose between dumplings or, well, a variety of things. Pandas love dumplings. We all know that. It's a true fact that they borrow from the real world. So the 1% that's not bamboo that they eat would be dumplings. Dumplings. Thank you for keeping me. Yeah, no, I'm just consistent. I appreciate it. So <laughs> I'm going to ask you dumplings or, and you're going to have to choose, dumplings or meatloaf? Dumplings. Dumplings. Dumplings are pot stickers. By the way, the pot stickers are pork and the dumplings are chicken. Dumplings. Dumplings are a plate of pot stickers, all different variety. Wait, you know what? Actually, let that one stew for a second. Never mind, change the question. Potlings are stew. Also, what's a potling? You never know. I'm gonna go with the stew. Stew yeah, or potlings? Yeah, I'm gonna go off the potlings, yeah. Dumplings or the name stew? What are you gonna name your child? Dumplings or stew? And it's not Stuart, it's just S-T-U. Stew. But does it matter what gender the child is? She doesn't like to say. Oh. We're no one sure until she's about 15. Because I would think that would be a totally gender-based thing if it was a girl, dumplings. If it was a boy, stew. Adorable name. Yeah. Dumplings or ducklings? Let me paint the scenario. You can only save one as it's crossing the street. I, I, I gotta go with the, the one that has legs. And then you eat it right then and there. Well, you let it grow up and then you eat it. The final question, dumplings <laughs> or trumplings? Trumpling being a baby version of Donald Trump. Oh, different that's, ideals, that's, completely I'm different sorry, ideals. That image is just scaring the hell out of me right now. So. <laughs> Dumplings, fantastic uh, answer. What's up, I'm Watch Mark, host of Awesomeness TV's new live daily show, Top 5 Live. Every day we take what you guys tweet us and turn it into a countdown of the top things of the day, which we talk about with your favorite celebrities. It's incredible. Now, you guys may have been enjoying the show on the Awesomeness TV YouTube channel, but Top 5 Live is now airing every day at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific time on Go90. Just go to the App Store, download Go90 for free, and tune in every day at 4 p.m. Don't miss out on the biggest little show ever. We'll see you guys on Go90. Bye.